All right, shout out goes to Yeri Verse for uh, asking me, could I do a tutorial on this a long time ago? <laughs> I started looking into this and it, this was a quagmire. Oh boy. But I recently found some tools to make this easier. And the reason it's such a quagmire is, as a creator, I, I went on to creator support and I asked them really simply, what does YouTube do? And the answer I got is, we're not going to tell you. Seriously, they said the information about loudness is internal only and they refuse to share it. So here's the problem that Yeri talked to me about, which I honestly didn't even know. He asked, did YouTube turn down my volume? And there's a way to tell. So that's all well and good. Do they turn it down and how to tell? The better solution is to know to anticipate how much they're gonna turn it down. And that way you can set your output so that it's at the absolute maximum volume and won't be turned down. The good news is there's a free and a paid plugin that you can choose which one to use that'll help you. Okay, now all of this comes from meter plugs and a shout out goes to Ian Shepard. He's a mastering engineer and producer in the UK. And I'll have links to his tutorials in my description where he goes very deep. This is, was all developed because of uh, Ian, who's a, a brilliant when it comes to this stuff. He's a smart guy when it knows, when, because a mastering job, uh, among many things, is to get the absolute loudest value that suits the song and it suits the service. Okay, so let me play you what I've got here. Uh, and this will work with dialogue, okay? This is, this is video and, and music with a bit of dialogue at the end, but this would work if it was just dialogue. There's a way of measuring that. I've created this uh, timeline. with some very loud driving music, lots of great visuals, and wanted to see how this would perform. Okay, and I'll just take you to the end of this. So I've got some, it dies down there and this is your time. So although it's mostly driving, there is uh, a section where we've got some, some uh, dialogue in there and it is, it's a little bit dynamic. So if we go to loudnesspenalty.com, you can drag and drop an MP3 or a WAV file. And uh, these files are not stored anyway. The whole calculation of what's about to happen happens in the browser, not on their server. So let's grab a file and see what they have to say, okay? So it's telling me that YouTube is going to reduce this by 5.3 dB. Now, the good thing for uh, folks using music is it shows you all of these other formats in here and it shows you, wow, they're, they're pretty similar. Uh, Pandora is a little less, Deezer is le uh, more, um, and iTunes is a little bit more. Now, most of these will not turn up uh, uh, title, I think, turns up, but YouTube will not turn up quiet music. And the whole idea behind all of these services doing this is they claim that it prevents someone from, from sticking really loud music in amongst normal uh, music. So they'll just make the louder stuff quiet. Okay, now let's go look at this output to, um, to YouTube. So this is the same video. And as you can see down here, I set the peak to minus one dB and you can see here it is. Content loudness 5.3 dB. And all you have to do is right click and choose stats for nerds to get this. So the first one is the volume here. So as I'm turning this volume up and down, you'll see it change. And the second volume is the loudness change. So you can see if 5.3 dB, the loudness penalty website does a great job of anticipating what 
is going to happen. So what you can do at this point is you can turn your volume down. Yes, I know you might not want to, but turn it down uh, 5.3 dB and then export out and drop it into the loudness penalty website. Or Meter Plugs has the loudness penalty as a plugin. So uh, again, I'll have a, a link to this to show you uh, a link in the description. In the edit menu on Windows, the Premiere Pro menu on Mac, Preferences Audio, access the Audio Plugin Manager, and then you can find the plugin and load it in here. So depending, it's usually in the, for me, it's the VST. It's supported on audio units, AAX, uh, or, uh, basically Pro Tools, audio units, and VST is what I'm using here. So once you have it loaded, I'm going to open up my track mixer, the audio track mixer, and I've already got some, some plugins going on for the voice down here. But at the end, I've got two plugins added, and you get to this by twirling this little triangle down up here. So the first one I added is a hard limiter. And if I double click on that, and by the way, if you click on this, it won't close. What this allows me to do is set an exact value. This is a very harsh, this is like a, 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 a not necessarily the right way to mix the song, but I wanted a mathematical value that I knew was constant. So this forces the loudest parts to minus one dB. And you watch this over here on the right as I play. It makes sure it's not louder than that. So I wanted to know exactly what that was so I could test the plugin. And here is the plugin. I'll open that up and also click here. Okay, so here's the plugin. It's the Loudness Penalty Analyzer, and I'll reset this. And you have to play the whole thing. So you can see already it's going to be down minus 5.0, minus 5.2. This is your time. YouTube 5.3, absolutely exact. And, and that's what's amazing about this is they are very, very close, if not spot on to what uh, YouTube is doing. Because YouTube says that their value is 19, minus 14 LUFS, loudness units full scale. But if you listen to Ian Shepard, the smart guy, he says those values that YouTube claims can be off as much as three decibels, three dB. That's a huge difference. So what we could do is put uh, that value in here so that I'm already at minus one. They want minus 5.3. So minus 6.3, I'll reset this and do it again. Still says I'm, I'm up a little bit. minus nine. So obviously, and, and again, I'm using this uh, hard limiter, which is not necessarily the right, the perfect plugin, obviously with what this plugin is, is, the value it has, and the value I'm outputting is a little bit different. So uh, just for argument's sake, I'm gonna try minus seven, reset, play this again. Okay, minus 7.2. So rather than playing it all the way through, you can see no change. And you also get a little tool tip that says, 
I could take it up 0.1 dB increase without penalty. And you see that in some of these others too. And, and this one is going to actually turn it up. Pandora is going to turn it up. The other thing that's great about this, let's go back to minus one. Is this preview down here. The preview is going to give you an, a, an audio example of what YouTube is going to do before you output it. So remember, we're back to our loud value. I'm going to start to play and I'll turn preview on and off so you can hear the difference. I'll leave it off to start. Turn it on. So there you go. There's, there's a calculated, easy, scientific way to tell what YouTube's going to do uh, either on the free website or with this plugin before it goes out there. And this is a premium plugin. I mean, this is not just a, a fake number of. They've researched this quite a bit and they keep adding new services into this plugin. It's mainly for people that are exporting out music and mastering for all of these services, but Hey, I think this works for anything uh, going out to YouTube from uh, Premiere Pro or any VST or any plugin. We could use this in, in anything that supports plugins. So it's not just in Premiere Pro. You could run this in Resolve, in Final Cut, in uh, Pro Tools, in Audition, anywhere and get those values, which I think is pretty darn amazing. I love this solution because it's immediate, it's direct, you know what you're going to get on the way up. I really advise you to watch Ian's uh, uh, demonstration because he takes it a little bit further. He's a mastering engineer and boy oh boy, he's got all his I's dotted and T's crossed. It really does make sense. So thanks to the folks at uh, Meter Plugs. I'll put a link in the description for you to go check that out. I reached out to them and uh, they got back to me, sent me a copy of this to try out because I think this is going to be useful to a lot of folks. So. Uh, Thanks to Yeri Verse again for alerting me to this and maybe this solution or the website is going to be good for you. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. If you want to support us some more, you can do that on videorevealed.com slash shop. You can donate once or monthly. There's a whole bunch of free stuff that you can uh, download and uh, some other things you can grab there. So check us out. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to listen to your questions and then go figure out the answer, uh, either inside Premiere Pro or with some other third-party tools like Meter Plus.